Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shoe Podcast, the only sneaker mm. podcast that is still running on island time. I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. <laughs> I'm your co-host, Tanner Young. We just got back from a little vacation, both of us here. But here we are, Ooh. in the words of uh, Aerosmith, we're back in the saddle again. Oh, wow. Okay. A lot of people go for Thin Lizzy, right? The boys are back in town. Yeah. Low-hanging fruit. We've sure. done it before. Aerosmith, we're back in the saddle again. I like that. I like that. I like going yeah. under. So I'm you feeling good. you feeling uh, you feeling the jet lag, or have you se- have you settled back into that, that <laughs> thick Louisiana air? I've thankfully uh, the jet lag wasn't too hard to overcome, being one hour ahead. So you know, island time pretty similar to Central Time Zone. I'll tell you, but <laughs> I'm think I think a little little darker looking. We'll have to run the footage Very back nice. and see how it Very looks nice. uh, week over week. The uh, Sunburn has settled in nicely, but I'm mostly recovered at this point. So good to hear. Good to be back. It was it was good to be on vacation, but it's also good to be back. Get back into our little routine and our little house and, you know, your own place. That's always good. There you go. You, you, you want to hear a, a little grown up uh, thing that has happened to me now with vacation? Please tell it to me. Uh, did you get anybody to mow your lawn or are you going to have to tackle that? Uh, we that, tackled that, it. that week off. Oof. We I, we came back to it and did it. You had someone mow it while you were gone. Nope. That's oh. all I can think about <laughs> on vacation is just being like, "Wow, that lawn is thick." <laughs> I mean, I'm right there with you at that. All I could think before we left, and I mowed it right before we left. I knew coming back it would grow again. But um, yeah. yeah. Hey, speaking of lawn mowing, I'll weave shoes back into it. I just got a new pair of lawn mowing shoes, which Ooh. I know I know you're aware of. But for everyone out there listening, I've taken my first step towards fatherhood, which is to buy a pair of Nike Monarchs. So I'm out there mowing those. I'm slowly turning that white colorway into like a faded green colorway. So very nice. 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 I still have mine crispy. What's the occasion? I break them out every now and again. I'm thinking Mm -hmm. the next date night might do a Chili's night and really just... (laughs) You're really leaning into it, yeah. Starch the uh, the Levi's. Yeah. How wow. how many wears, how many lawn mows, rather, do you think it takes me before I get my Monarchs to the point of your dad's Monarchs? How many- Brother, you got years. <laughs> it's not even mows, man. And here's what, I'm, here's what I'm most curious about, how he's got to that point, because he's got a riding mower. Well, so that's the thing. The riding mower. Well, he's I guess always had a riding mower, but weed eaten. You know, oh, I mean, he's got you know, pretty big, it. pretty big that'll property. Okay. Okay. Um, but also, you you kind of you kind of cheated the monarch lawn shoe ecosystem. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just want you to know. Okay. Okay. It it doesn't go fresh pair straight to the lawn. It's fresh pair that you wear. They become dingy. They become the lawn shoe because you've replaced those with brand new monarchs but i i that's fair i can respect the hustle i'm shortcutting the circle of life here certainly which yeah my pair of lawn shoes that i just replaced was I've, i think we've talked about this before the pair i was using was the oh, first yeah. pair of nmds that NMDs. i ever bought so uh i just replaced them with these but i think you made a joke about it this pair of monarchs i got from the refurbished wall at the local nike outlet so it kind of is the passing of the torch it from, is yeah which I have so many questions. How are Monarchs ending up on the refurbished wall at the Nike outlets? Like, who's getting them and bringing them back? You don't want to hear that story. It's sad. I, that's a, And there's a lot of them, too. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. Well, some dads, some champions, some Greek gods, they, they're they struck down before they're, you know, their true calling. So, And we raise our glass to you. Hey, thanks, everyone, for listening. I promise we talk about <laughs> shoes at some point. I we're promise kinda, shoes. we're talking about shoes. If there's no banter at the front end, everyone's like, wow, are these two guys even friends? Exactly. It's a, it's a fine line. It's a fine balance. There you go. But look at that. Drinking out of a wine glass. What I just f- had the big sip where like, it's got the little lid on it. And I think I did not have the whole aligned with my lips. So I'm like, at mm. any point it's about to just douse my shirt, just but that's douse. okay. My shirt was made for these conditions. I don't know if you can, uh, I see, uh, all conditions. I, see I see some letters. It's made for all conditions. Yeah. I still, I'm still upset they didn't go with like an ABC type thing, but you know, Sesame mm. Street, I guess, mm. has that corner. The little blocks. Maybe the next t shirt idea. Throw it out there. Little yeah. building blocks. Just okay. Two okay. percent. That's all I need. Two okay. percent. I'll throw it out. Do it. <laughs> like the milk. There you go. <laughs> well, here's what <laughs> we're here to talk about today. <laughs> Just based on milk. Here's what we're here to yeah. talk about today. The sneaker releases in June that we are looking forward to. Spoiler alert, it is a short list. Um, yeah. But also because. 
it's a late night for the boys here. We're recording a little bit late. This episode's not coming out on Fridays like it normally would, but we both just got back from vacation. So yeah. you know what is funny? Last thing I'll say about vacation that I promise we'll stop talking about it here. I don't. But leading up to vacation, I spent more time and more effort making a bunch of content. I talked about this, that I could schedule yeah. to post while I was on vacation so I wouldn't have to. The ironic thing is that week back from vacation, I didn't do any content last week and i haven't done so we've been dark we've been quiet all right. week on the internet and this is uh but this is you know maybe the beginning of it now now we're getting back go. into our cycle well you know like you said you were an island boy okay get to come back it's that it's the week after a vacation you're so tired because the week yeah. before so excited excited week build up of vacation you're like this is great Coming back from vacation, you're like, oh, my God, I have to do a nine to five every day for the every rest day. of my life. Every this day. is daunting. Yeah. I'll tell you what. The first hour into it, I was like, yeah, I don't miss this. I was like, yeah. I see why I, I went away from this. I'm mm-hmm. noticeably enjoying this mm-hmm. less. Yeah. Noticeably, visibly. Yep. And then you're like, mm, but the missus made lasagna tonight, and I love her lasagna. That is true. So. That is true. The way she bakes a Stouffer's unlike anyone else. Ooh. She, gets, no. she plays that oven like a fiddle. I'll tell you right, right now. Let's wrap this up. Let's all right. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's, wrap this up. Let's, let's get it started, actually. Let's talk about some shoes coming out in June. First one on our list we want to talk about Ooh. is the Tiana Taylor and Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort, a rose from Harlem. By the time you're listening to this episode, these have already come out. They released mm-hmm. on Thursday, June 1st, which is the day we're recording this for the retail price of $150. Tanner, what do you know about Tiana Taylor? She was in a music video for Kanye. Yep. Okay, so about the same. Okay, about the same. About knowledge. the same. About the same. Okay. I, I I do know that she is uh she is very talented for something, and I'm sure it is very disrespectful that I don't know that. But apologies. Just because we're to, not familiar uh, with her doesn't mean she's not talented. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Tiana Taylor. So if you're listening, TT, <laughs> which she is, which she is. Sorry. I'm Sorry. sure she also, loves that you just called her TT. Yeah. If you are also listening, please stay off any Instagram post that has these on it. You do not want to read those comments. <laughs> they are uh, they are ruthless out here. You do not want to read those comments. But let's go ahead and talk about them because I think they're really interesting. There are a ton of details in these shoes. Mm-hmm. We're coming back from the island here. We forgot to mention at the top. This is a video podcast. This is a video episode. Oh. If you're listening on Spotify, you could also be watching it on Spotify, or you can come to our YouTube channel. If you're listening to it on op- Apple Podcast, sorry, w- listen to it somewhere else. Watch it somewhere else, <laughs> or just listen to it. You can just listen to it. But for the ones where we talk about like releases a lot, you're going to miss a lot here. Sorry. Okay, going through it here. Some of the details I want to talk about. Brace yourself. There's a lot of pictures here. But there's a lot of details. I did not really realize until, like I said, they released today. It wasn't until I started looking at them on the sneakers app that I realized how much was going on here. So a lot. some of the details I want to talk about, you've got, I think probably the uh, most noticeable de- most noticeable detail is that jumbo swoosh on the side of the shoe that kind of mm-hmm. overlaps on the midsole there. Uh, the mismatch stitching you can see on the picture between the left shoe and the right shoe, one has like those thin black lines. The other one has like the actual green thorns. Uh, and then the two tone outsole with the yellow and red. Interesting. As well as the uh, little Ooh. ventilation holes on the toe are now X's instead of dots. This Very cool. giant gold rose dubre that comes over the laces there. And printed text on the inside of the little wings that says a rose from Harlem. And there's even more. The box has details on it there. The tongue tabs have details. The insoles, just like a lot of details, a lot of little details on these shoes. But my question to you, do all of those things come together to make a good shoe? Or is it just like a lot of cool individual things, but still not a good shoe? I actually like all of these. Um, The thing that has me that I don't really care for is the, the, red Nike swoosh to look like a rose with the green thorns around it. Um, I literally, sorry to interrupt you. I literally just caught that. Yeah. One of the swoosh. So the swooshes on the inside are red. The ones on the outside are black. No. It, so that's what I thought, but it looks like it's different shoes. Oh, so it looks like 
I one missed shoe. that entirely. Yeah. When I first saw them, see how this is? I thought that's how it was. I thought the outside was the rose and the inside was the kind of like oversized swoosh that yeah. looks like, a, you know, uh, stitched oh, wow. on. wow. But yeah, so it's, you've no, got a mixed it's the match. Two different shoes. If it, I, I like everything about this shoe, but the rose, I don't know mm-hmm. why. I don't know if it's the, the green or just kind of the way that the, the thorns look on it. Um, mm-hmm. That kind of has it me, for me personally, be like, I don't really care for it that much, but like the yellow laces, I really like, I love the oversized swoosh on it. That has this like very handmade look to it with the oversized stitching. Um, I really like that aspect. I think it looks really cool. I think it brings mm-hmm. a really cool dimension and kind of um, pairs or, or kind of flows through the shoe very well. I mm-hmm. like how the heel is kind of this like Merlot, I guess. Um, it's like a brownish color. And I don't know if I have a good picture of it here. You see like the heel panels a little bit different where like where that little pull tab is, is normally a separate mm-hmm. panel. It looks like it's kind of all one panel. So yeah, craft yeah. a little bit differently. I, I really, I really like it. I, I really like this shoe. I think it's, I think it's very cool, but the only thing I just is the, the rose, the, the, swoosh the one being, shoe. Yeah. Being the rose. That's the only thing to me that would be like, I'm not a, a fan of it, but I, I really, I, I really like it. I, which I guess from how I alluded earlier seems to be uh, against the common theme from, from the internet, but yeah, what do you think about the internet's general opinion of like the red shoe with yellow laces being the McDonald's special? I mean, it's hard with not the to brown being the hamburger patty. <laughs> I didn't really get the brown being the hamburger patty, but I just threw that out there. That's my conspiracy theory. But, gotcha. uh, oh, it's a, it's a whole the, Ronald McDonald theme. Yeah, I don't know that the internet's really saying that, but like you could say gotcha. you heard it here that the internet's saying. Hey, that. I mean, yes. Red and yellow is going to give McDonald's same thing with like a red and green is Christmas. A black and orange is always going to be seen as Halloween. Right. Um, when you have those very um, infamous color combinations, mm-hmm. it's hard not to. I kind of like it. I dig the yellow laces on it. Um, I think it really looks good. Maybe if it wasn't such a bright yellow, maybe if it was kind of a yeah. dingier brownish yellow, you know, more mustard or Dijon then maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that would uh, go away from that theme, but yeah. Uh, but I, I, I like them. What about you? I do think it's a lot of little cool details that don't mm-hmm. necessarily come together to make one cool shoe. Um, I'd be curious to see them with black laces. I think that might make it a little bit better. But Ooh, yeah. also, I think just for me, like the brown panel on the heel quarter is just a little too different for me. Um, mm-hmm. I see just that side shot. I just look at, it, I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that. May again, maybe with black laces, but, um, I don't know. So, uh, so often it's like, if a shoe comes close to a colorway of a shoe that I already have, it's really hard for me to look at it and be like, yeah, I would wear that a lot, Fair. you know? Cause I'm like, I have something close to this that I would already be wearing. Um, mm-hmm. still think it's a good shoe. Like, I think a lot of people are giving her flack of like, Maybe it looks like it's borrowing design elements from off white or union with the thick stitching. But like, I cannot imagine even sometimes I go on Nike ID and I'm like, wow, none of these are good. And I'm doing like the simplest things, you know? So like, yeah, I'll give credit where credit's due. It's not, especially for something like the Jordan one that people are, it's pretty hit or miss. There's normally not too many, mm-hmm. like this is fine. Jordan ones. It's either like, this is bad or this is great. Um, So I don't know. I really like the theme. I think it's, a little bizarre that it's the arose from Harlem. And I think if I did my research correct, that's the name of her album from 2018. I think like five years ago. Mm. Um, Interesting. So I, I just think it's a little strange to have a shoe. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like from, from the concrete grew a rose, not her, not solely for her. That's a common expression uh, that mm-hmm. other people have used, but, I don't know. Just interesting to see, like it's it's like having an album roll out, but the shoe comes out five years later. I guess. Yeah. I Again, mean, good way. Not to... the biggest Tiana Taylor fan. Obviously, not that well versed. Um, yeah. But that's the only thing that strikes me as odd. I might be way off on that. Uh no. I mean, I I think if it is in combination with that album, then yeah, that does seem weird because like a five year anniversary is 
you don't really see it, you know, 10, 20 years right. maybe. Um, and then again, kind of in that realm. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really know, but yeah, to, for me personally, if it didn't have that rose swoosh, but also not having a Chicago one, I would definitely be, mm -hmm. uh, would definitely uh, be going for these, but yeah, I don't know. Just kind of the, the, the rose swoosh just kind of, uh, I, I would not see myself um, wearing these, but yeah, if so, if I did see someone wearing them, I'd be like, yeah, those look good. Cool details. I'm curious to see over time, that little part of the swoosh that overlaps on the midsole. If that gets like flappy on some people's shoes and it's just like talking mm. when you're walking, you know, Hey, it could be Ooh, talking while I'm walking. Could be, could Migos be, I, check, please. I, uh, hey, I'd also like to see the uh, that heel, like what the true like in hand color is, mm, um, yeah, because I've yeah. I've seen different like product shots and it and it all looks a little bit different each way. So uh, yeah. you know, if it is more of like a brown and doesn't really have that reddish tint to it, then I think that also would really throw it off for me. But if it at least has like some of that reddish hue to it, then I'm still I'm still on board. And not to be rude here and go on my phone mid podcast, but there is a reason for this. I promise there's a reason to what I'm doing here. I as hope always. it's still on the sneakers app. Of course, like the sneakers app now that like I'm on the podcast. No, perfect. There it is. My favorite part of this release. Hang on. I'm going to try to do this. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. My favorite part of the release is on the sneakers app. This $750 jacket that goes along with it. $750 for the Jordan brand jacket. And I'm just like, Jordan brand, who do you think you like? You're not designer. And I'm sure designer jackets go for way more than that. Don't you don't need to let us know that. I'm sure we're aware <laughs> of that. But I just saw it and I was like, I don't think your average Jordan one customer that's buying these is also like, yeah, maybe I'll get the seven hundred fifty dollar jacket to go along with it. Who knows? That to me was wild. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty dollars for a jacket is that's crazy. It's just it's hard for us Louisiana boys to justify, you know? Hey, we're if not I didn't have a mortgage. That. Yeah, a jacket? <laughs> Lord have mercy. No shot if you didn't have a mortgage, you'd be buying that jacket. <laughs> if you did, I'd seriously be questioning your priorities. Okay, no mortgage, cars pay it off, no kid. No mortgage, and, and, the, and the dog is always fed. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's too funny. Drop it a, it's an investment. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Speaking of investments, let's see what else we can invest Ooh. in this month. Next release we want to talk about is the bodega and new balance 610 the trail less taken these are releasing mm. on friday june 9th for a retail price of 160 dollars very outdoorsy theme on these as you'll very. notice uh some of the details i wanted to hit on here you can see it more in the second picture i think it's the inside of the shoe that has this big yellow panel on it whereas the outside of the shoe you would never know right you can't see it from there but very nice inside panel has that big yellow uh accent near the heel of it there it does come with three pairs of laces Ooh. the gray ones that are on it and then a black set a yellow set which is going to give it that pop uh and the little hang tag with that custom sort of like bodega and new balance logo they did specifically for this shoe sucker for a good hang tag these are looking outdoorsy a lot of the uh mm -hmm. promotional pictures they did were like so like to me, it very much screams hiking shoe, but a lot of the promotional yeah. images they did was some guy on a rooftop with a bunch of pigeons, like the pigeon man from Hey Arnold. Good post. Yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you. A oh, little victory lap for the for the social content team real quick. Um, there you go. So I, but I do kind of see like a pigeon color scheme in there. Not like a, a Jeff Staple pigeon, but mm -hmm. like, you know, an actual pigeon bird. Actual pigeon. Of like gotcha. with the bluish greenish head there. there um, what are your thoughts on these? You looking to you looking to touch grass in these? Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Uh, yellow laces, for sure. Would be the, have the that accent. First thing I do, I love that the laces literally, I mean, all the way down to the tippy of the toe. With the little lace lock on them, so you don't have to tie them. Oh, man. I love it. I love that 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 blue, the little hint of the yellow, which is just perfect enough to, like, really tie in with those yellow laces. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm hunting for these shoes just for the for a hang for a hang tag, but it's a it's a big portion. But it's a good hang tag. Like quality control could be absolute garbage, but if I get the hang tag, don't care. I just just need the little hang tag. Don't care. Love it. Glue all over the shoe. Could care less. <laughs> Let me put that on a little backpack or something though. There you go. What about what about you, my little ACG boy? Oof. These are good. These are 
it's mm. it's it's tough because I'm like I look at them and I'm just like I really want to make room for these somewhere, and I've it's tough though because I'm such a little outdoor man in my head in my fantasies yeah. I am and I look at it Same. and I'm like would I practically wear it no but would I like play Steve Irwin in the backyard in it yeah but would so it it's look like good? yeah but oh man it does look good I gotta give it to like I think. Bodega does probably my favorite New Balance collaborations, maybe yep. outside of Joe Fresh Goods, I should say, because he does really good ones as well. But God, like, yeah, I, I when you talk get, about I might a give tra- the edge to Bodega, when you talk about a track record, they did that 990, like that greenish olive one, not that mm, long ago. Mm. They did the Age of Discovery 9060, I think, just earlier this Those year. Now this one, I like. I think the thing I like about the Bodega New Balance collaborations is that. A lot of the time when I see the color schemes that they do in the combinations, I'm like, I wouldn't immediately go for that. But now that I see it, I'm like, yeah, I like that a lot. You know, this, the, you know, it was the first thing I thought of when I saw these shoes, hmm. just a like a, a, a late 90s Jan sport book bag. Yeah, kind of got that vibe to it. I, I just I just mm, I just really I was just like, oh, I love it. And then like the 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 New Balance in like stamped on top of like the mm-hmm. whole shoe like it's not underneath or blended right. like i just love that look uh and the midsole is just like i love the, those little waves the the carving that they have in it mm-hmm. like just the the silhouette of the shoe just looks i mean absolutely fantastic the colors that they put with it i mean yeah like you said though bodega just has absolutely been knocking out of the park with every single new ba- honestly new balance uh, within the past two, three years has literally just been having like, I think some of the top tier collabs. Yeah. Um, that brand's on fire right now. I mean, just, just wild. So seeing yeah. something like this, I, you know, it's just so cool. And then uh, I'm a big fan of the overlace uh, or like oversized laces, mm. um, you know, with the mm-hmm. bunny ears style, you know, on the ones, like I'm a huge fan of oversized laces. Um, so seeing, seeing <laughs> this just makes me happy. Your pair of the Gundam Dunk Highs have to have the oh biggest my gosh. body laces on them I've ever seen. It Absolutely. it's admittedly not my thing, but I love that you do it and you own it. You know, I I think it's just like it just it's one of those like nostalgic things for me uh, when, yeah. when it comes to when it comes to laces, um, and uh, just because I think I also never really got the hang of nor, nor enjoyed the feeling of tucking in laces. Yeah. Um, so I, I just always just embrace that or like the, the jeans behind the tongue of the shoe. Um, that It just has that nostalgic feel to me. So, yeah, going to be gunning for these super yeah. hard. It's a good one. It's a good one for mm-hmm. sure. I still don't know yet if I'm going for it because I've thankfully been able to pick up some other shoes recently. So we're now mm. it's a good problem to have. It's a good sneakerhead yeah. problem to have to be like, I don't know if I have room for everything. Um, and so I'm going to try to restrain myself from like, I got to buy everything cause it looks good. So where you want to be, it's where you want to be. Uh, we're going to see what happens with these, but damn, it's good. I haven't bought any of the bodega new balance collabs yet, but the resale on them all thankfully is not that bad. So if I want to, I feel like I could go back and pick it up. So we'll see. But as of right now, I'll say probably of everything we know of confirmed and coming in June, this is probably the most exciting one to me. Agreed. Yeah, but here's what else we got coming. Not as exciting, but still pretty good. Pretty nice. The Air Jordan 1 High washed black coming out the day after the bodegas. You might consider it the consolation prize. You know, if that Ooh. Friday doesn't go your way, you're going to wake up Saturday morning, go on the sneakers app June 10th, and do your best to give Nike $180 for this shoe. There you go. Some of the little details on this. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but you do get that nice washed mm-hmm. black or like dark gray suede on the back of it with the white tumbled leather, the sail midsole and the black outsoles. Um, I don't know if this means anything to you. It might now. I think you're a bit of a change, man. Special box, a little bit of a different box, not it's your cool standard box. Jordan one box. It's a cool it's box. It's a cool box. It's I'll a cool say it's a cool box. box. And also comes with black laces. If you want to put the black lace on it though, I like the white more, but I think the white white's a better look. Yeah. So it's a, it's a very simple, very clean shoe, very much along the lines of, you know, they did the turbo greens and then they did the, like the washed coral, the pink ones, not that long ago. Yeah. Um, so these are kind of in that same color scheme, but just a nice, simple and clean 
pair to wear. What do you think? Because I know Jordan one hype is actually like pretty slow right now. Like they are not Very. really, they're pretty dead right now, which is wild to see coming off of like the past few years we've had. Are mm-hmm. these like to you, are these like a clean staple good wear or is it like boring playing it safe? Oh, uh, I, I think this is a, uh, I think this is a good shoe. I think it's a good yeah. shoe. I don't think it's exciting enough that I think people are going to really rush for, but yeah. this is something that, which may, may, this may sound like a backhanded compliment, but I think is going to really stand apart on like a shoe wall in the middle of the mall. Mm. Like you're at a big box store. You're going to see this shoe over everything else. And you'd be like, I'm interested in a shoe might pick this up yeah you know um i think this is a this to me screams like a great maybe like starting a collection um yep you you get a jordan one you're gonna get great materials you're getting a shoe that you can wear with basically anything yeah uh you know because of that color so i think this is one of the things where it's like if you are starting to maybe get into sneakers i think this is something that like should be very easy to get and would look and be like a great maybe mm-hmm. first pickup to like be like hey this is a shoe yeah. you know yeah um i think that that would be good to it, it i know it probably doesn't sound like a great compliment but like to me that's kind of what i look when i see colorways like this mm-hmm. they're not necessarily exciting for someone who has been collecting for a while has some has some pretty big you know big names in their collection Mm -hmm. but everyone starts somewhere you can't start with or i mean i guess you could but most people don't start with shadows and black cement threes and you know travis scott's and yeezys or whatever but Mm -hmm. like this is one of the things that i think would start a collection and I think you could keep in your collection. I have my very first um, sneaker pickup. I still have uh, yeah. the Hacky Sack SBs because I yeah, still yeah. think that is a fantastic shoe. I think you would start your collection with this. This would be something that you would want to hold on to. You'd hold on to this for a while for sure. Yeah. yeah. I think that's exactly the point I was going to make, which is if you don't have any pairs of Jordan ones and you're looking to get your first, this is the one like this is the one to go for. The Jordan mm-hmm. one hype is lowest that it's probably been in a while. So, Hopefully it's not that hard. Um, the other thing I would say is like, if you've been on the fence or considering or chasing Panda dunk highs and been unable to get them, get this instead. This is a better shoe. I think it's so. A, too. It's a better, more interesting shoe. That's just like going to be, I think it's going to hold up better as well. I think the materials are going to be better. Um, but the kind of like the current Jordan one era we're in reminds me of 2017, 2018, like right around mm. when we were first starting to do the, the podcast, which is the era of turbo greens. And if you remember uh rookie of the years and sports illustrated, Ooh, God, all of those were years. sitting. And then over time, they just went up in price when the hype kind of caught up to it. So like, yeah, not well, a resale the, uh, podcast, not like a financial advice podcast by <sighs> any means, but like check the these, stocks. these taxi Jordan ones and like whatever the co- color is called the lucky green or the pine green ones are like, all really solid colorways to pick up while the hype mm-hmm. is low and the resale is low. And then a, to have them. Cause like, they're just staples. They're going to look good with almost anything, but yeah. then B when the hype picks back up, they're going to be more expensive to grab my two cents. I would, I would agree. Yeah. The last dance really made that boom. And I think we are mm-hmm. seeing, uh, mm-hmm. definitely a dip right now, but yeah, I agree. This is fantastic material. It's going to look good with everything. You can dress it up. You can, have it super casual mm-hmm. uh i agree with you i think the materials are going to hold up way more than the panda highs um so yeah if you were kept trying to get panda highs i i agree i i like this better than a panda high panda yeah, lows sure. different story but that's uh, high tops versus low tops that's true that's true but yeah, yeah this this over shape, panda like, panda highs for sure come on it's a clean like even if you're not into sneakers you can look at this and be like that's a good looking shoe like it's just yeah. clean it's simple. It doesn't have to be a hyped collaboration. It can just be nope. like a really good shoe that you have and wear. And then just like that, like black and red, like Nike Air, yep. like right, right there on the tongue, just to kind of be a little, just rude, you know, <laughs> a little rude. Oh, just, just a little rude. Yeah, no, good shoe. Like I said, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna really be gutting for these. Um, 
I mean, if, if if they were, I mean, like severely discounted, I would probably be like, you know what, this is this is something I could I could wear and and kind of you know turn into a beater, um, yeah. if it's if it's for the right price. But yeah, I think this is a perfect starter shoe. This is one of those ones where like if I hadn't thankfully had the fortune I'd had on sneakers so far this month, and I tried to go for the New Balances and I missed them, I would get these like without thinking about it. You know, like. <sighs> If You're I wasn't already picking, high. yeah. Mm. Well, if I wasn't already, just if I wasn't already picking up a bunch of stuff, it's just a good enough colorway that I'd be like, yeah, I'll find room for this, you know, like yeah, for sure. I know I'll wear this. This is clean and easy enough to pull off. It's kind of like shadows, but not as dark as shadows. So if you want mm-hmm. something a little bit lighter to wear, yeah. To me, it's like it's a very no brainer shoe. I agree. I agree. Let us know in the comments what you think. Mm. Plug, plug, plug. That is actually all the sneakers we have lined up to talk for talk about today. Uh, like I said, it's one of those months where there's not that much on the front end that we know about in terms of yeah. like big, big releases. Um, the only other kind of big one that's going to happen that we don't have pictures for um, is the first run of the Salehi Bimberry Crocs Pollux slides, though, in like that yeah. orange milk color way, which... Maybe we don't get that far into them right now. Maybe we do another slides tier list. Ooh. Listen, I don't know if you've been looking at the Google Doc. I add slides to that as I see them coming out. It's expanding. It's 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 a long list. It would be a long episode if we did them all in one. So that might be a two-parter, but that might be a YouTube live we do before too long. So if you'd Ooh, be interested in seeing us revisit the uh, slide and clog tier list, Leave a comment down below. Shoot us a DM on Instagram. Let us know at Shoot Podcast. Uh, if there's enough interest in that, we'll do it. If there's not enough interest in that, we'll probably also do it. We'll probably still do it. We'll probably we'll probably still do it because we're interested in it. So, but it'd be cool to know if you guys were. Yeah, I mean, I would. I would. I'm going to enjoy doing it the same amount, but it's cool with other people. I think a YouTube live yeah. would be great. YouTube yeah. live is always uh, always fun. I love yeah. uh, to to yell at the people when they're wrong yeah which is always you're always right they're always wrong of course of yeah course. you're the one with the microphone why would they be if they were right they'd have a microphone i can't i can't hear you so <laughs> i literally can't <laughs> it's just ryan and when he's wrong i talk over him so you know <laughs> that's a podcast a win-win baby <laughs> uh so that's all the shoes we had i don't you want to do one sort of ad hoc sneaker topic that i'd kind of been sitting on a little bit yeah let me hear it I think you and I have texted about this at one point, but it popped up in our discord the other day. Shout out. We have a discord at shoe podcast. If you want the link to it, we'll gladly add you fun little community of people. Um, Popped up in the discord yesterday because I don't know if you have been noticing yesterday as of the time of recording, this was Adidas's big Yeezy day for this year, though Mm. not really in direct affiliation with yay, but uh, kind of because he's still getting a percentage of them right now, but they're also mm-hmm. donating a portion of the proceeds to several good causes and agencies, uh, just like anti-hate groups, really. Um, and for those of you that don't know, this is all from back in, must have been late 2022, when Ye and Adidas went their separate ways, but Adidas was left holding lots of different models and stock numbers and of uh, Kanye collaborations that... Yeezy collaborations that they couldn't really release through their conventional channels. And so like, what do we do with them? Do we burn them? Do we donate them? Do we scrap them? They finally came to an agreement where they're going to sell them again. As I said, portion of the proceeds go to Kanye portion of the proceeds go to all these good groups. And then Adidas keeps whatever's left on the table. Um, and my whole thing with it is like, I'm just so baffled. I'm just so surprised and confused Mm -hmm. as to why the internet is so excited for them when like, we all remember why Adidas ended their partnership with Kanye West. Like we all should remember, please remember, (laughs) like (laughs) please remember what was going on at the time to make them in that partnership. And like, why are we all so excited to buy the shoes again? I like, I truly don't get it, but like the internet was eating up Yeezy release day. Oh yeah. Well, this is like, this is, I mean, probably last run, this, I guess this is it, you know, this is it. So, you know, it is a, you know, the sad thing. I mean, obviously we saw with what happened with uh, the Kobe's, 
you know, yeah. after, you know, um, him and his daughter's unfortunate passing, mm-hmm. immediately those prices started to, to skyrocket, you know? Right. And, but thankfully, you know, StockX and, and Goat were like, hey, we're, <laughs> we are pausing all sales of this right, right. now, you yeah, know, because yeah. obviously, but that is just, you know, we have an example of, hey, this is the last zebra you know, 350 V2 that you're going to yeah. get. This is the last time you had a chance to get the pirate blacks, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, which one's going to be more expensive, the first release or the, the final release, you yeah. know, of it. Um, and so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that people are, are gung ho about it because you, you, yeah, you see the value, you know that obviously there's going to be a ton of value in that, which mm. Yeezys already have an insane value to them on a mm. resale market. And then there is the, I guess, the FOMO that is somewhat think, involved of, if I didn't get in, this is the only time I could get in. I want to yeah. be a part of, I want to hold a shoe that's the final shoe, you know, things like that. I'm thinking the FOMO is more of it, and I'm really not that aware, but my impression has been that the resale value on all of this stuff has not been insane. Maybe it is in a way off base. I haven't really been checking stock X or like I said, I'm really not interested in it, but yeah, I don't know. My, my impression is that it's not, it seems like a lot of people are like able to buy this stuff. Like I've been, I was watching a live stream yesterday where they were doing live cops and like the chats, you know, everyone's chiming in with like, who's hitting a lot of people hitting compared to like your average, like sneakers release or any mm-hmm. sort of, popular release so it seems like a lot of people are getting it which would make me think the resale value is not high but i get your point that like it does not surprise me but i guess it's still just like surprises me you know like maybe not surprises but it just like i'm just confused i'm just like typically people are people are gonna people are gonna align with whatever is the internet's yeah whatever is 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 getting traction on the internet people are gonna align with regardless if they fully believe or not so at one point the internet was was rewarding people for saying kanye is not great this isn't a good right. thing they should cancel let's you know no longer buy yeah. yeezys get him away from adidas um and then but we also know is that after a certain period of time people stop caring and people yeah people don't well, care anymore for the things that you know he said or you could yeah. say that you know he got punished you know i mean adidas dropped him sure uh obviously he's still you know an uber rich successful person so i mean it wasn't mm-hmm. a huge hit but i mean i guess he lost yeah. his bill his billionaire status um well so to be fair people may like, say that we'll go on the record and say it. like you make a really good point about like the recency bias of you know like people just forget after a while none of this is lost on me by the fact that like i'm very well aware that all of the other shoes I own are not all made in like the most fair and safe of conditions. Like I'm very well aware that all the electronics in our house are not always made in the best conditions. And I'm very well aware that the meat I eat is not always like under the best practices. And so, Mm -hmm. but it's like, you've also got to recognize that like, if you follow that rabbit hole to the end of it, I'll be laying in my backyard in a burlap sap absorbing the sun for nutrition. And that'll be all I do. You know, like if I have, if you avoid every absolute, like, unethical and like you could find any trace of wrongdoing in it you probably have nothing um so like i get that it's 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 choosing your poison i guess where it's like sure it's easy to be like i'm not buying yeezys because of what he said it's like oh but you're buying nikes because of how they make them and it's like yeah it's not lost on me but yeah the recency bias though of yeezy i think is just what confuses me of like guys we got all at least like even if you're not, can you pretend to be offended for like a little bit longer? You yeah. know, like remember was the a- Tom Sachs stuff for at least a week. We were like, I'm not buying the general purpose shoe anymore. <laughs> I'm not doing it at least for a week. Okay. But there's rumors that they're doing a Mars yard 3.0 and I would love to have and one of those. I am going to get that. So we Just, need to speed yeah. this up. I don't know. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, uh, so I mean, like uh, that's a good point. Like you said, somebody would be like, "Wow, can't believe you bought a Yeezy." I, someone could easily be like, "Well, I saw that you made a comment on Instagram right. with your iPhone, and it's like, yeah. how's that iPhone?" Yep. So then it, you know, so it. then you got to sit there. And you're like, "Yeah, fair." You know, I mean, fair. technically, yeah. you could say that you know the 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 things that Kanye did have done less damage. I guess physical damage sure. um, than than what other companies um, have and are 
yeah. are still doing. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it was just to your point of just like, wow, it seems very recently every mm-hmm. the sneaker community as a whole, yeah, pretty much was like, hey, I don't, I think I'm done, regardless of what they yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. And then as soon as as soon as Adidas announces like, hey, this is this is it, this is our final. <laughs> wholesale everyone's like oh well, i never did get a pair of the v1s i i have been wanting a pair of the v i wish it were not under these conditions trust me but yeah it's when else am i going to go to the get moon rocks okay yeah. i can't go to the moon thanks yeah deal yeah so deal <laughs> <laughs> i put that exactly on buzz aldrin's shoulders he can hold that weight thank you for those of you listening on spotify we will have a q a or a poll on spotify we want to hear from y'all. Let us know, are you excited and or looking to buy a pair of Yeezys? Did you buy a pair from this past Yeezy day? Are you looking to, did you miss and now you're looking to buy a pair of resale? Or are you holding off on buying Yeezys, maybe even wearing Yeezys for a little while, the ones you already have? Like I said, if you're listening on Spotify, that'll be our poll for you. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment down below. Let us know. I want to read through those yeah. genuinely. It'd be interesting. Last fun tidbit I will uh, throw at you here before we start wrapping up and going. Uh, it was making a popular round on the internet last week, week before, of the ever popular is it okay to wear, wear fakes conversation, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so I threw a poll on our Instagram story, at Shoe Podcast, asking people two options, really. A, it, I think the question was, how do you feel about other people wearing fakes? A, yeah. it's fine, slash I don't care. B, it's not fine. Slash I do care. And here's here's my fun tidbit for you, which the data analyst to me can't help but be curious about. Okay. Of all of the people that responded that work at sneaker stores. So like, you know, say you had 30 people respond and it wasn't this many. 10 of them work at sneaker stores. 10 of them said it's not fine to wear fakes. Hmm. Which I just thought was curious that like, all the people of all the people that work at sneaker stores that responded, it was probably at least 10. It was probably more than 10 that I know work at sneaker stores. All of them said, not, it's not fine. It's not okay. Interesting. I don't, I just, it's curious. I guess we should have someone on the show to talk about it. I'm throwing that at you as if I'm like, Tanner, since you work at a sneaker store, why do they say that? And you're like, Oh, uh, so I don't know. know. Unless it's like, you're, personally make it yeah i, I to, for me i i, I voted I, I voted it's fine yeah i had a, a interesting discussion through our dms with a shop owner uh not a louisiana shop owner but a sneaker shop owner from a different place um kind of going back and forth on the topic a little bit and yeah basically my point was like i, I think we've done this a lot so i apologize if i sound like a broken record here but <laughs> i understand why people do it Cause hear me out. Mm-hmm. Sneakers get leaked at least six months out, sometimes a year yep. out. Like right now there's leaks of like, here's what's coming in spring 2024. I'm just like, why? So <clears throat> it's right. The internet, not a healthy place. Social media, you spend six to 12 months in an echo chamber of hype, just like drilling in your head. Here's what's coming. Here's what's cool. Here's what's coming. Here's what's cool. Here's what I need to get. And uh-huh. then like a couple of weeks before, now people are getting their early pairs at hand. Now the reviews are going up. Looks better in hand. These are so good. The materials are so good. It's just like drilling in your head. People are getting early pairs. I got to get an early pair. I got to get a pair of these. Release mm-hmm. day comes and goes. And like in a blink, this yep. thing that you've been obsessing about for so long is gone. And now here are your options. Move on. Toughest pill to swallow. Move on. Yep. Pay resell. Not a particularly Ugh. good pill to swallow. Or buy reps. Yep. And you're like... There's the whole argument of like, if you're buying them to impress other people and, or if you're buying them to try and pass off as real, sure. That's don't be doing that. Buy what you like, wear what you like. But, Mm -hmm. um, I just get it. I get why like people who looked at something and obsessed over it for so long, eventually go, okay, well put myself in those shoes. I really wanted chunky donkeys. That's a really fun, interesting, just a fun shoe. I could spend upwards of a thousand dollars to get a used pair of mind you <sighs> or i could start shopping around on the internet and see what i could find for like you know under 150 bucks i'm not trying to pass them off as real 
I'm not, I'm an introvert. I'm not really particularly looking to wear them at the mall and get a lot of compliments from people and have yeah. small talk. Cause that's my hell. I just want to have the shoe. All I'm saying is I could see how people get there. I haven't yeah. gotten there, but I can see how people get there for, for me. Uh, like if someone would say, you know, I'm, I'm against it just in general. I usually, like I would say my like conversation I would have is like, okay, let's take, for example, let's do a local. We've got like the crawfish dunks. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I tell you, Hey, I was able to get my crawfish dunks for 50 bucks under years before dunk height, because I just, I love them. I think they're a mm-hmm. great shoe and they, and they were sitting. Does it mean more that I bought them when they weren't hype? Or does it mean more if I said, yeah, I paid $580 last yeah. year for them. And if one, you know, because they were so expensive, does it mean more or does it mean more because I got them so cheap? Right. You know, and, or, say? or if it's, you know, if I'm walking and someone goes, Oh man, you got black cement threes. I go, yeah. Oh, what release year did you get them? <laughs> oh, 2018. Oh, um, right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, That's I see the bacon. The I see the I see the bacon's on your shelf. Is that the one for? No, it's the it's the re-release. Oh, okay. Well, uh, right. you know, so, so the, you know, you, you when you when you get into shoes, you know, and you start looking at this, it's like, okay, if that doesn't matter, then why does buying uh, a replica mm-hmm. all of a sudden make it mm-hmm. make it uh, make it different? And 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 I think everyone would agree, even people who buy reps it's not a good look to try to pass them off as authentic. And especially if you're trying to one, it just seems goofy if you're trying to pass them off as authentic just to get recognition. Cause mm-hmm. like, let's be honest, that's pretty empty. And then it's even a worse look to try and pass them off as authentic to try and like resell them for, for money. Right. Um, you know, but it's like, I love the, the Dior ones. I think it's a great color. I love everything about that shoe. I, I, I will. I would literally never be able to buy that shoe. Yeah, if you could, you shouldn't. But yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. Unless I'm making like a million dollars a year, right, that's the yeah. only time you should be able to buy that shoe. Yeah. Um. So if I buy a rep, just because I'm like I like it, but if someone would be like, "Holy crap, you got doors!" I'm like, "Yeah, these are fake. These homie. are so fake." Also, please don't take my wallet. You know, <laughs> like yeah, there's nothing in there for you. Yeah, I paid. I, I paid so little for them. You know, I think the one kind of like argument or defense I get behind is that like, you know, like it's not okay to rip Nike off or, you know, like to steal their designs and make blatant copies of it to which I've like, Nike didn't want us all to have pairs of this shoe. If they did, they would have made more. They specifically don't want there to be enough. So like someone else stepping up to meet that demand. Yeah. I guess, yeah, they shouldn't be doing it, but it's just, you know, like if your response is to back big corporation, I'm already done having a conversation. (laughs) Like if this is a local artist who made a small batch. Yeah. Come on. Like, right. Yeah. Just, you know, let's not do that. But if you're back in trillion dollar companies, dog, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping away from the table. (laughs) We are on such a different page. Yeah. (laughs) I, I like, you said what? Yo, but you know, even, even Jeff, Bezos gets sad sometimes, and it's like, oh, homie, we are not on the same page. If if they say that, I'm asking if they clock out to go to the bathroom at their job. Because if not, then you should not be back in big court. Get- I can't help but think of isn't it Zombieland the scene with the guy just wiping his tears with dollar bills? With dollar bills, like yeah. Nike being what like, I can't stuff? believe they're making fakes of our shoes, and it's oh, like, no. Nike, you could make more. I don't want to do that. Okay, well, I li- I like when they sell out in half a second. Right, exactly. It makes this cool. But also, yeah. could you guys stop getting them other ways? <laughs> I think it would be though. I think I think it would be interesting to have that conversation with someone who does work in a retail space. You know, because I've had that conversation yeah. with with people who just buy shoes. But I think it would be interesting to hear yeah. if someone be, who is like well, I am against reps who is in a retail space would be interesting just to hear that if it differs from kind of the listen. If you're out there listening and that's you and you want to come on the show, hit us up. That'd be a great conversation for us to have. My guess is that like I could see I'm in the same shoes 
not I'm not in the same shoes. I don't work at a sneaker store, but you know, you're surrounded by sneakers all day. You literally see them constantly coming in the door and going out the door. I'm sure mm. if you work at a store, it's way easier to have the mentality of there's another release coming. There's always something else, you know? I think yeah. it's a lot if you're in that world, that's a lot easier than if you're the kid on Instagram that only sees everyone else hitting on lost and found Jordan ones and you can't get mm-hmm. a pair. Hard to tell that kid, cheer up. There's cool shoes at the mall. Yeah, I'm sure there are. <laughs> I'm sure there are. It's not but the it's same. Not- the one that Odell Beckham has. Yeah. So two things from that conversation. If you work at a sneaker store and you want to come on the show and talk to us about why fakes are bad, please hit us up and do that. Secondly, it'd probably be an entertaining episode if you and I went out and bought fakes. <laughs> I'm we're I'm gonna down. have our we're gonna have our cake and eat it too. If I'm you down. buy fakes and can walk us through that process, also hit us up and we'll do that. Come on. We're not cops. We'd have to tell you if we were cops. <laughs> clip it all right that's gonna be uh i think that's all we got for today unless there's anything else you want to hit on before we go here no, i think a, i think uh i think a good end to that yeah so thanks everyone for listening to another episode of shoe podcast we'll be back soon with another one might be doing an unboxing next week might not we just have to see the way uh the way the cards fall you know what all manifests and happens but so far mm, keep Mm. the fingers crossed it's looking good if nothing else for my sake this is like crying for trillionaire moments where i'm like if you all could like send thoughts and prayers for me to get shoes that would be great that'd be great we'd love that if you care yeah you can catch us online at shoepodcast.com the screen's really small i'm trying to make sure i can see them all on instagram (sighs) at shoe podcast funny pictures funny videos on tic tac TikTok. Oh my gosh, I'm old. On TikTok at Shoe Podcast, <laughs> on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at Shoe Podcast. I turned it to my mom for a moment there. And on if the you want to su- face, <laughs> if you want to support the show so we can have education on what all the social media platforms are, it's patreon.com forward slash Shoe Podcast. I'm going to blame it on it being late and not me being old. It is late. I'm not that old, late. but. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in for another episode. Tanner, anything you want to leave the people with before we go? Uh, Listen to the wind. Feel the sun. I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tanner Young. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>